Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday night football. And on the call, as always, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the New England Patriots. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And, Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season. And a game they probably really need. Obviously, no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, it's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Here's Bull, and he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. Definitely one of the better linebackers of reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. They'll run again with Bull. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Patriots take over. Brady and the Patriots now, first and ten, right at the 30. Brady now on first down. And first trip up with his off road tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So those are the numbers for Gronk in last week's outing. Seven catches, 76 yards. And what we just saw there was exactly what they need against this defense. Big plays. They were able to pick up the first down on that one. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Pass for 20! And he's going to be marked down deep in Detroit territory. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Here we go, let's go. 
That opening drive rhythm continues right into play number three. Whatever they decided that they wanted to run before the game, it's working pretty well for them right now. Moving the ball downfield at a nice rate. And guess what? I think the chain crew might have to get a little oxygen over there. They have to keep moving downfield with first downs on each play. He was brought down by Devon Kennard. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now a play fake, Brady. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three. Maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. And Detroit getting set to go now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They start on the ground here with Blood. He takes this for three to the 29. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. the 43 that time two yards on the pick up there it'll be second and eight they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play. screen pass to Blunt, and he'll be brought down losing yardage back at the 40 so he loses three yards there now third down time to give a little credit here that was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he locates Luke Wilson. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him Old Reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to. But he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. A shotgun snap for Stanford. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Monday, Monday, Monday. They should put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Now the Notre Dame man. This is Theo Riddick. 
And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Lions into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 right at the 20. Doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Again, here's Blow. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On third down, Stafford. And Jones has it over the middle. He showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three -three. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right, no big plays given up, no balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that? On. One? What does that mean, break out? That just because you're you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. So Brady and the Pats take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to fire one deep. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tavon Wilson. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Ball start. Offense. Expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. <laughs> They'll run it now out of the gun. And yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll make this a second and long. So a field goal apiece, that's all we have here in this first quarter. It's a tight game here early, but they face a second and long to start things out. From the gun, here's Stafford. Over the middle, complete. That's Jones. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Now Stafford, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Deron Harmon right there on the coverage. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, 
A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits. And those creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Second down, Michelle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. The New England Patriots remain consistent on offense with a stable of running backs. They added Sony Michelle, the 31st pick of the draft in 2018, to that stable at the University of Georgia, mainly for his ability to run inside the tackles and have a real thump to their game. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Brady now after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten to Michelle on the dump off. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when. He told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Brady to Gronkowski. They make it look easy, don't they? And it's a Patriot first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. This is White on the screen. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up a second and goal. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Ready to throw again. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. A bullet throw, but incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down, threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. What are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays and only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it.
the Lions offense. They get ready to head back onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've done before and realize it hasn't worked for something else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. So a decent game, but Still all for not game. on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Operating from the gun, Stafford. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. Only two yards on the completion at second down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second down, here's Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Stafford looking to throw on third and one. And able to find Joe Brown. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Here's Stanford. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jones. And before the second down play, we get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the 50 at Stanford. The left side completion to Jones. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Monday, Monday, Stafford Monday. going to come up first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. False start, offense. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. Again, it's Stafford. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Stafford looks to throw again. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted. But it falls to the ground. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, you could be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Third and long, it's Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Extra point good by Prater, and that will make this a four-point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. shot before half for Brady. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And it's Michelle once again. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They'll run it now out of the gun. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the... Oh, a heavy rush, and down he goes. Kerry Hyder in there to get him for a loss of five. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Right side, there's Decker. Man, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Though. Yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Here we go on fourth down now with Brady. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. That time a slant, Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate, but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. They'll check this one down to Michelle, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It's an 8-yard pickup, and it'll be a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. 
11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They keep it on the ground right again. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Brady now on first down. And that is incomplete. Trying to force it into Edelman there. That'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. To throw, it's Brady. And this one's incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And that takes us from second to third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're taking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Throwing is Brady on third down. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And the stop will come inside the five and the four. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say, I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack up. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Eric Decker, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Pats able to cash in for six. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. They go back to Reddick. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. From the gun on third down, Stanford. And up it underneath to his running back, complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It goes for a gain of 10, and it's a first down. A good way there to have him bounce back from the interception last drive. Something underneath, a little bit of rhythm going. I know the best ones in the league have supreme confidence, but every now and then you need a little booster, don't you? This is their way of protecting him and bringing him back, and then they'll turn him loose later, I would think. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Jones. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Stafford now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. On first down, it's Stafford. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And out of bounds right around the 20. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it down out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to the 18. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage. Amidst Back now at Ford Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Stafford on third down. And he locates Luke Wilson. Stafford to the former Seahawk Wilson for Lions first. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Stafford now to throw. And it's Riddick underneath. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On the ground, it's Riddick. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. A shotgun snap for Stanford. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Luke Wilson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Lions have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Luke Wilson spent five years with the Seahawks, most of that time playing behind Jimmy Graham. I think he's going to get a few more looks in this Lions offense. He just capitalized on one of them right there. 11 touchdowns, five years with Seattle. I expect that number to jump in Detroit. Prater for the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now it's Patterson. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Brady will try again on second down. To Decker over the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. The tackling is almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Throwing on first down is Brady. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. And give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Throwing now is Brady to Michelle on the dump off. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 
The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. This is White on the screen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Goskowski, the extra point. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because yeah, the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Snappard on first down. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch, first down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. To throw is Stafford. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wilson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Stafford trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On second down, Johnson. Johnson with a burst. The first down and more. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Carry on Johnson with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Lions have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And that moment we just saw, always so special for any rookie, the first touchdown of his career. And there's nothing like anticipation, is there? You know he's been dreaming about it, thinking about it. It's been a part of every bit of his being. And finally, it gets done. He's got to feel great right now. Brady and the Patriots now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On first and 10, here's Brady. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well. They were perfectly executed crossing route. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. 
time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. On second down, Hill. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle, and he's going to be stopped at about the 37. And just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Again, it's Michelle. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Now a first down carry is Michelle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. He's back to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And it's third and four. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Back to throw. They have his man. That's Edelman. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. They'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. On the ball, on the ball. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes, no matter where, about protection.